Good Friday, the time when Jesus was arrested, convicted, and crucified. From a non-Christian view, they may wonder, why do we name this day Good Friday? What is so good about our Lord and Savior dying on a cross? But we know what happens in three days, that Jesus rose from the grave and conquered death. The Good Friday story starts in the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus and his disciples went after the Last Supper. Jesus takes Peter and the sons of Zebedee, James and John, to pray with him. Jesus goes alone to pray to God, and when he comes back, the disciples had fallen asleep. He tells them in Matthew 26, verse 41, Watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus then went again and returned again to the three men sleeping. He wakes them and tells them the hour has come and the Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of sinners. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' 12 disciples and a crowd arrive and have Jesus arrested. Have you ever been betrayed or lied to by one of your closest friends? How did that make you feel? After Jesus' arrest, he was taken to Caiaphas, the high priest. The other high priests, along with Caiaphas, were looking for false evidence to convict Jesus, but they could find none, even though there were false witnesses. They then asked Jesus if he is the Son of God, to which Jesus responds in Matthew 26, verse 64, saying, I have said so. But I say to all of you, from now on, you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. The priests cry out, blasphemy, and rip off Jesus' clothes and start to beat Jesus. Jesus is then transferred to stand trial in front of Pilate, who would eventually condemn Jesus to be crucified. Pilate asked the crowd what prisoner should be set free. It was the governor's custom at the Passover to release a single prisoner chosen by the crowd. So when Pilate asked the crowd who they wanted set free, the crowd shouted, Barabbas, Barabbas. So Pilate released Barabbas and sentenced Jesus to be crucified. Have you ever made a choice that you know is wrong, but everyone around you wants, to make, wants you to make that choice? What choice was that and, how did it, and why did you make the choice? Good Friday ends with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. He was stripped of all of his clothes and ridiculed. Right before he died, hanging on the cross, he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus then cries out again and then gave up his spirit. What a series of events Jesus had to endure that led to his death on the cross, from being betrayed by one of his best friends to being falsely accused of being a false prophet to experiencing one of the worst ways to die. But we call it Good Friday because we know what is to come, that Jesus rose from the grave to save us and give us eternity.